G'day, Ant Pia here for Ant's Pantry. Today I'm going to make another recipe from the festive flavour cooking chip. It's called chocolate and anise fruit bark. Um, it's definitely a festive time of year with functions to go to and I think this will be a lovely contribution to the dinner I'm going to this week. Um, I had a bit of trouble with uh, working out what anise seed is as one of the ingredients. Um, uh, the internet told me that it wasn't star anise and it wasn't aniseed. Uh, but when I looked it up, the pictures of the seeds were the same as the um, seeds that I bought uh, under the title of aniseed from a little um, Asian market. So that's why I'm going with that. Um, I don't know how else to source it. It was quite easy to um, get at that Asian market. And obviously it, it still has that licorice um, flavor, a subtle licorice flavor and scent to it, which is what makes this bark um, so special. All right, let's make it. So we find it under recipes, category, desserts and sweets, chocolate and anise fruit bark. Uh, the ingredients are some anise seeds, then dried cherries or cranberries, dried apricots, roasted salted cashew nuts and dark chocolate. So there's not much in, in it, but uh, it really looks delicious, doesn't it? First step is to get your uh, baking tray ready, and I've done that. And then put in 10 grams of anise seeds. These are the anise seeds that I've got. And when you look closely at them, they've got little tails on the seeds. Um, I don't know what any other seeds look like that have a similar name, but uh, this was the picture that I found on the internet, even though my packet says aniseed. That's 10 grams. It's quite a lot, but I think we need a certain amount in there for the milling process. So next step is set measuring cup into the lid and speed nine for 20 seconds. Well, you can see how they jumped up out of the, um, it's a bit hard to see, isn't it? Oh, but it's quite finely milled. The smell, the aroma is just fantastic. And the next step is to scrape it down. And then I think we'll just mill it even more so it's not there that's better now that's been scraped down and milled for another 20 seconds so it's really fine and i'll put that in a spice container uh, because we only need one teaspoon of the ground anise seeds for the chocolate this time so the rest can be used for other recipes or more chocolate up tomorrow there's my teaspoon of ground anise seeds reserved with the rest in a jar for another time and now I need to put in 70 grams of cranberries there they are next is 70 grams of dried apricots there we are those apricots were around about 10 grams each so that's only seven measuring cup and chop for three seconds on speed seven. Oh wow doesn't that look pretty okay we set that aside and then do some nuts there we go my roasted cashews came in a packet mixed with roasted macadamias and peanuts so there's a few macadamias and peanuts in there I tried to get the, the cashews out and it's mostly cashews and now we'll chop that for five seconds on speed four. So at four seconds, there's a variety of sizes in there, some chunky, some quite fine. And the next step is to put them with the dried fruit and then clean the bowl. There we are, nice clean bowl. And now we put in the 400 grams of dark chocolate. Here's my 400 grams. I've got a mixture of block chocolate and melts and um, chocolate chips, which is 
all good. We put in the reserved aniseed teaspoon, anise seed, I'm going to say, better say it right. Anise seeds. And then we start to melt that. Three minutes, 50 degrees, speed one. Yes, looking good. Scrape it down and continue melting for another three minutes. Oh, four minutes, okay. All right, let's have a look. Beautiful. So we pour the chocolate onto the prepared tray and then scatter the nuts and fruit mixture over. And then leave in the fridge to set for two hours. I won't be able to taste it for ages. Well, I think that looks very pretty. Now, I'm told that the best thing to do at this point is to put your favourite milk in there and make yourself a lovely hot chocolate. So that is definitely an idea, uh, something to enjoy while I wait for that to um, set in the fridge and give it a taste. Now that's nice and cold. Let me see if I can get it to crack. Yeah. This is a really quick and easy thing to do for something that looks so spectacular. I'm just going to taste it. What's not to love about fruit and chocolate together? Perfect. Thanks for watching.